I'll help you get out of this place. You aren't frozen. You just think you are. before I tell you more. trap by an entity called Katora. Its magic is powerful, but you're stronger than you know. It may appear beautiful, but it's an illusion. A trap designed to control you. Katora won't tolerate your resistance much longer. <laughs> there is no escape. I will break you in time. What as I turn your own memories against you? Defend yourself. In the mind trap, memories can kill you. Another one. Defend yourself and strike back. A magic user. Interrupt the spell and retaliate. grows stronger. Now follow me. Yes! Uh -huh! I can't go any farther in this form. If Katora notices me, we'll both be lost. and you can do this. You simply need to go.
escaping this mind trap. Destroy the pearl and wake up. Easy now. You did well. It gladdens my heart to see you awake and free, my friend. You're the first to respond to my help and escape from that entity's grasp. I am Oriandra, and I wear the cloak of the Sigic Order. I came to Somerset at the behest of our Right Master when I sensed a dark and powerful mind magic emanating from this area. When I noticed your predicament, I knew I had to intercede. Take a moment to rest, but once you've shaken off any residual effects of the spell, I might require your assistance. And take this. I assume it belongs to you. It was near your unconscious body when I found you. I must return to the Eldbur ruins to the north and aid the others caught in Katora's mind trap. If you find yourself in the area, you might be able to assist me. Stay safe, and remember, you have a friend in the Psychic Order. Let the cat fight those monsters! The island sprung a leak! Run! First, the Queen issues a decree that changes the status of Somerset from an isolated paradise into a tourist attraction. Now, monsters, sea creatures, I've never seen anything like them. Well, I say, let the cat fight them. Better him than me. Suddenly, the ground opened, spewing water and strange creatures. They attacked us. Luckily, one of the newcomers, a Khajiit, leaped in and drove them back. Called himself Razum Dar. He could probably use some help if you're so inclined.
Have you ever seen such creatures? Raz has not. Probably neither have you. You are a newcomer, yes? New to this island of high elves? This one has an eye for such things. And you look capable. So can Raz interest you in some cloak and dagger work? Ominous? No, nothing of this sort. Well, maybe a little of the sort. Depends on how things develop. Raz has come to Somerset at the behest of Queen Irene to make sure her decree regarding the opening of the island proceeds as she directed. Ask some questions, determine the mood in Shimmerin, and see how the newcomers are faring. Rumors have reached the Queen, and she is concerned. So Razumdar comes to see what is happening and fights strange creatures. Now Raz is concerned as well. While you ask questions around the city, Raz can take care of some other business. It may or may not involve scratching and clawing. Let's meet near the entrance to Shimarin when you have something to report. once like you. Don't look away. A newcomer in the warehouse district. Unusual. But how can I help you today, my friend? The Divine? Who told you that? If Justicier sent you to try and trick me into confessing... No, no. The High Elves would never send a newcomer to perform such a task. But I admit it. I made my thoughts known. I arranged to bring my cousin here to work with me. The ship arrived, but all the newcomers were carted away. For questioning, they said. I complained to the kin lady and anyone else who would listen. And what has it gotten me? Nothing. Oh, my family has been here for generations and generations. Before the Queen's decree, outsiders might have been rare, 
but we were not unheard of. Our business has grown and gets better every day. That's why I sent for my cousin. We need the help. Somerset is a rare and beautiful jewel in the Abitian Sea. I love it here. The High Elves treat us like children, but they have never been hostile. The Queen's decree has stirred the waters, though. I fear it will get worse before it gets better. your own patch of beach not that you'd understand the concept but the path to a laxon requires dedication and complete concentration i must find the perfect shells or my pigments will be substandard and do you know what that will do to my art exactly an ultimate concept practiced widely here in somerset a laxon is the state of perfection that every high elf strives for. The path to a laxon represents the approach we take to achieve that state. Now, why have you interrupted my work? I believe in caution as much as the next high elf, but sometimes the rules get in the way of common sense. My apprentice lived here for more than a year. Good help is so hard to find, especially among the newcomers. And she was adept at making dyes. They took her away. Said they had to scrutinize her qualifications, test her knowledge of culture and etiquette. But I haven't seen her since. My work suffers, so of course I complained to the monks. Now I have to gather my own shells. They told me I could fill out some forms and appeal to the kin lady. But who has time for such bureaucracy? And for a wood elf? I've said too much. I have work to do, and all this aggravation has diverted my path to a laxon. Perfection requires constant vigilance, so back to it.
This is unheard of. Why have you closed the monastery? Such anger. Raz never expected to hear such words from the Queen's loyal subjects. The sentiment isn't universal, but enough feel this way for Raz to be concerned. Did you learn anything interesting from the people I sent you to talk to? Sequestered. Just a different word for imprisoned, yes. Randall's cousin just arrived, but old Newell's assistant has lived on Somerset since long before the Queen ever issued her decree. What about the lizard? What did Zog Solza have to say? <sighs> Why would the Aldar gather up newcomers and non-high elf residents alike and send them to the monastery? Does the King Lady condone this behavior? Raz's head itches, and not in a good way. Our course is clear, Five Claw. We must go to the monastery. Raz admires your enthusiasm, but this one needs you to enter the monastery on your own.